get my light, my box, uh, tripod on deck. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Let's bring this bad boy in the house, man. Oh, my God. This is about to be an epic video. My first sneaker trade is coming up. Shit, motherfucker. <sighs> Fucking hating ass niggas. Hate beast mag because I got a grill cop. Ah, oh, motherfuckers. What's up, baby? It's your boy, DMD. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go, man. We just gonna get straight into it, man. This is my first ever sneaker trade. I have never made a sneaker trade. <laughs> oh, man, 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 man. Let's just get straight into it, man. Let's just... Oh, man. I'm, I'm excited to see this shit right here, man. Y'all have no idea. I've been trying so hard to, to, to get this shoe. Oh my God, just look at this box, bruh. Just look at this box, bruh. And I'm hoping it's legit. Bruh, like, normally I would scream right now, but bruh, this is the fuck that I'm talking about, man. The shattered fucking backboards. Bruh, y'all don't know how long I've been trying to... The shattered ones, man. Look at that leather, man. Three, ye, yo, premium motherfucking leather. And I'm just about to double check real quick. I'm about to look up this shoe and double check to see if this is legit, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if this is legit. I'm about to do some research myself. And I'm gonna come right back to this video and explain to y'all the trade and if these are legit. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. Um, I may need y'all help on this video, like for real, cause uh, I'm going through a legit check on Instagram. <sighs> Something ain't right here. Something ain't right. There's like two very suspicious um errors or flaws or whatever. Um. All right, so since I'm not too quite sure, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tally this up. I'm gonna have like a fake, a real, and a fake tally marks up here somewhere. So we are gonna tally this up and see what's all legit on here and what's questionable. So we are gonna tally that up and see, uh, what we come out with, man, so let's get to work. 
All right, so first of all, on the real and the fake right here, y'all see the real shading is lighter than the fake. So the fake has this dark kind of a shadow print, right? So when I come here and take this off, look at that shit. You see what I'm talking about? The fake has that dark shadow right there. And these have the fake dark shadow right there. So uh, that's question number one. That's, that's suspect number one. All right. Uh, suspect number two is the labeling. On the reels, you see there's <laughs> more text in the second line. You see what I'm saying? On the second line, there's only, there's only one word. On the reel, there's actually more colors listed on the reel. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Bow. There we go. Right there. You see that? There's more colors listed on the reel, but on these, there's only one color listed at the bottom right here. So that's uh, kind of fishy number two, right? Congratulations. You played yourself. Everything else checks out pretty well. See right here on the fakes? You see, there's a space right there between the D and the R. And on the reel... They join together. You see that right there? They join together at the bottom of the R and the D. So we come right here. As you see, it does touch just a little bit. Barely. Just a little bit. So it's not as spaced out as the fakes are. All right. So that does check out. All right. All right. So here's another thing about the wings. All right. So on the rear pair, as you see in the bottom, the wing is closer to the white leather. You see the space in between here is not as as big of a gap as it is on this one. On the fake, there's a big ass gap from the white leather and to the uh, black wing. As you see, see right there, click that. Let me see right there. You see how it's closer to the white leather? On this one, there's a big ass gap. And this one is pretty close to the white leather. So that's on point. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! On the fake, the Nike Air on the top cuts off all right so as you see right there the a is complete it does not cut off like the fake does the fake cut off but the a on the nike air is all there see the top right there it doesn't cut off on the fakes at the top it cuts off and on the real you see the whole a what you see right there you see the whole a right there all right so that checks off don't ever play yourself there's a space on the middle see the white tongue part you can see the space in between the air and the bottom part of the white uh part you see right here the nike air is just all on the bottom of the uh of the tongue so bow as you see right there there is a big space in between the air in the bottom of the white tag which is correct the fake pair the air part would be all at the bottom right there so you wouldn't see that white space at the bottom of the tag so that's correct yeah the tip of the check is a lot higher than the fake pair you see the fake pair comes down to the end see the tip of the nike check and the real pair comes like right where that space is on the end. You see what I'm saying? We're gonna take it here. And that checks out. You see that? You see the tip is right there on the point on the on on like the little space in between the end. So that does check out. The fakes stops like right here at the bottom of the end, but the real stops right there. 
in between that little peak right there. So that checks out. As you see on the real pair, this is a plastic bag. On the fake pair, they have the like the red tip on the plastic bag. And this one has the clear bag all the way in the bottom and at the top of the zipper. So that checks out. Another thing about the fakes, uh, you see the fake tumble leather where the wing logo is, it's like, it's, it's extra tumbled leather, but on the real, it's smooth, all right? So, I don't know, this doesn't look extra tumbled leather, but it doesn't look really smooth either, like, it looks like it's a little bit too tumbled. I don't know, man, it's like, oh, man, I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> On the fake pair, the orange leather is very tumbled, and on the uh, and on the real, it's more of a smooth, smooth leather. So check this out. This is like very smooth leather. It's not like extra tumbled, like it is on the picture. All right. So on the on the toe cap. Of the dots, I don't know if this camera, all right. Check out the dots lining. This is the real pair and this is the fake pair. But on this one, it's kind of like, it's just straight. It's just straight across. But on the real pair, that dot in the middle, let's see if I can zoom up close. Well, no, nah, that ain't gonna zoom up. But the dot in the middle is a little bit further down between those dots. And that lines up pretty good with that check that out you see see right there let me hold that up you see right here the the middle dot is a little bit below these two dots on the side so that lines up perfect well done because on the on the fake pair they just line straight across but on the real pair the middle one is a little bit lower so bow that's good. Impressive. All right, so let's check out the back part. I don't know if this camera is going to pick it up, but on the fake pair, the back of the heel is like it's just straight down. As you see, they hot they highlighted it in that green box. It's just straight down. But on the real pair, it has like a little slope. It's more of a like a right slope. It's not just straight down. So as you see on here, it does have that slope. You know what I mean? It is curved to the right a little bit. It's not just straight up and down. You know what I mean? Like straight up and down, it would be like this. But this has a little right slope. So that checks off. Barely. All right. So as you see on the top, the back of the heel, you see the printing is different on the heel. This one has like more of a square effect on the rear. And this one doesn't have that type of squareness. You know what I mean? Like this one, you can see every block. Block, block, block. This one is kind of just jumbled in together. So when we come here, you see that this one does has that square blocking. You can see like each individual section has its own little square. So that does check off. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. You see the little stitching right here? It comes up from the Nike check, which is correct on the Jordan 1s. This should never be touching the Nike check or even close to the Nike check. So that's good. Final round. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Like, I'm just hoping I'm just paranoid. You know, because I know every shoe label and shoe box is not going to be correct. But check out the stitching on it. Like, you don't see any peaks. There go the toe cap. It's very smooth right here. There's no peaks, no widow peaks. Check out the side. Like, the stitching is A1. Very smooth. There's no peaks. Very smooth over here. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I do see a peak, man. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I do see a peak, man. Is that a peak right there? Y'all see that? I think that may be a peak. I don't know. Maybe. Am I tripping or what? But this this cut of the leather right here is a little bit questionable. You see that peak right there? That is a peak. That shouldn't be there. So, yeah. See that? Look at that. Hell yeah, that's a motherfucking peak. Fuck! So I don't know, man. Hopefully I'm just paranoid, but I need y'all opinion, man. Let me know. Are these fakes or are these real, but just, you know, have little minor flaws? Because, you know... Jordan brand, you know, fuck up some shoes sometimes, so that's understandable, but y'all just let me know, man, because I don't know, man, I don't know, I'm kind of hesitant right now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of hesitant right now, and I just hope I'm not paranoid, I know every pair is not gonna be perfect and exact but this box la label is way off man like it's it's way off it's supposed to have more colors listed on the bottom and it's so it's not supposed to look like this so um i don't know man y'all leave a comment down below let me know if these are fake or not and um i tallied up all the uh questionable uh, flaws on the shoe and all the correct um, points of this shoe and it seems like you know there's more good than bad on this shoe but I don't I, I still don't know man I don't know man what do y'all think man are these real or legit man leave a comment down below and I don't know I gotta do some more investigation so I don't know. Let me just give y'all another look at the shoe, man. Check it out. There's the wing. Here's the stitching. Check out the stitching. Y'all let me know, like, for real, man. Like, I need y'all help. Here's the toe box. Uh, here's the bottom of the shoe. Ah, oh, man. This is fucked up. This is gonna be fucked up if these are not legit, man. Because I was excited. But, but hopefully, hopefully, I'm just paranoid and I'm just tripping. And this is a real pair, but just has, like, minor flaws. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's the case, that these are... Real authentic pairs, but just have you know minor detail flaws. But um, fuck.